everybody, I'm Delicia, and thanks for tuning in to the Cigar Vixen channel. So, this last Sunday, I did my weekly top five using my, my little iPhone 12 Pro Max um, as the camera, and I actually had pretty good responses from it. I thought it was, I actually thought it came out terrible, but um, you guys had a lot of nice insight, and also a lot of you said, Hey, I couldn't tell the difference or, you know, I thought it was really good. Um, audio was a little weird, but everything else looked fine. So today I'm doing another guinea pig uh, test run on you guys using you as, um, again, my guinea pigs and I appreciate the feedback. So today I'm actually using my iPad um, sitting outside. So apologize in advance for um, what I've mentioned in the past. I actually live in like a wind tunnel. So you'll notice that it's a beautiful day but randomly there will be gusts of wind. Not sure how this microphone's gonna capture it, if it's gonna be ridiculously uh, windy or if it's subtle or what. So um, again, I'm using this as kind of a test run. It's a little bit easier to do videos this way as well as I'm hoping to edit them. So the goal being, um, not that I'm lazy, but the goal being to put a little more ease into the filming process and the editing process um, so the end result is getting more videos up more frequently and um, you know just doing more reviews basically is the, at the end of the day. That being said, I'm going to be looking at, and then also I'm unfamiliar with where to look at, so sorry if my eyes are all over the place. Um, still getting the hang, this is actually the first video that I'm doing on my iPad. So um, taking a look at this beautiful little buddy here. This is the Diesel Sunday Gravy, the San Marzano edition. Uh, I had this on my top five, so I'm trying to give you really good, uh, let's see, I'm trying to give you really good pictures of it because I probably will not overlay photos on this video just because um, editing on this platform is a little different than my traditional way. So again, just kind of playing around. Hopefully you can see this uh, very good. This, I'm trying to give you all different angles and viewpoints of this cigar. And then I actually, um, well, no, I'm gonna light it up and then I'm gonna read to you the, basically the press relief that I received, press release that I received. So, I'm using my little, um, I don't know why it says Sig Stick, but it's actually Stick the Stick is the brand. And it, again, it has this cool little cutter uh, the lighter that comes in, lighter that comes in here, as well as um, if you need it, this nice little poker to hold your cigar at the very end. And you'll also probably see them running around in the background naturally. I have Nika and Chewy, my two Boston Terriers, that um, I did a post the other day on National. I don't know if it was National Pet Day or National Doggy Day, whatever it was. I posted a picture of them and come to find out there are a lot of you that have um, Boston Terriers. So if you are watching and you have a Boston Terrier, then you know what I'm talking about. They're random, they run, they get bursts of energy. Um, I have two of them, so they decide sometimes to fight with each other and play around, so um, all that stuff. I'm trying to play around with the camera too, so, okay. Sorry again, guys, I know I'm probably staring off into random things, but just trying to uh, play around here. And again, there's the wind, so we'll see how it affects lighting up this cigar. See, it's already kind of taking it, the flame in the places that I don't want to take it, which is almost like charring this foot, which is bad. Bad Delicia. So like the flame itself because of the wind, see how it kind of did that little extra extra burn line there, it took it off already. Um, but that could be the flame, but it also could be uh, the cigar itself. But here's why I say that. Okay, so I'm gonna read the press release about this cigar. It's um, Diesel launches the Sunday Gravy. It says, the great gravy sauce debate has been hotly contested for decades. Run a search and you'll find more than 68 million results. You read that right, 68 million. Now Diesel's getting into the fray with its newest collection called Sunday Gravy, launching in August. 
Sunday Gravy will be a full timeline under diesel and will feature seasonally released Nicaraguan forward smokes blended and handcrafted through diesel's winning partnership of AJ Fernandez and Justin Andrews. Here comes the wind. Blends will be released quarterly, sold until their limited supply is deleted and offered at unbelievable SRP of less than $5 per cigar. So that's why I mentioned that. Um, it's a very, very inexpensive cigar. which I happen to think is awesome. Uh, Justin Andrew, senior brand manager of Diesel said, when I first started working with AJ Fernandez, and even to this day, I'm impressed by his method of making cigars. He ferments and ages his tobacco meticulously to achieve the taste he wants. His process actually reminds me of my mom and how she cooked her Sunday sauce slowly over a low flame, knowing she had the luxury of being able to cook all day on a Sunday to get it just right. The comparison to cooking inspired the name of this new collaboration with AJ and it's actually very simple to his approach. Similar, sorry, actually very similar to his approach. AJ never rushes the tobacco. In fact, he processes, his processes are what some might describe as painstaking. The result is richness, depth and complexity. And like a good Sunday sauce or gravy, AJ cigars are always worth the wait. Beautiful. So it is made at his factory in Esteli, Nicaragua. And um, let's see, the San Marzano features varieties of Cuban seed tobacco. The wrapper is Ecuadorian Habano. The binder is Nicaraguan Esteli. And the filler is Nicaraguan Jalapa. So there you have it. This camera is so different. <laughs> Sorry, I keep staring off to this corner when I know I should be staring there. I can't get used to it. Um, bear with me here. Okay, so hopefully you can see good. Like I mentioned, I'm probably not going to put still photos up over this video of this cigar. I may or may not change my mind on that, but um, here is a good look at it. You can see it still has that diesel emblem, little bit change, little bit of change in the color, and then you can really see that nice ash that it's forming despite the wind and the kind of sloppy um, start that we had with lighting it up. It's kind of just, you know, somewhat evening out. It's definitely not razor sharp burn. There's a little bit of a waviness to it, but it's, it's, um, it's not like changing the dynamics of the smoke. Um, flavors. Tasty. A little bit of nutmeg catches my attention, as well as a light woodsiness to it. <clears throat> oh, sorry there. So I can taste a black pepper in there again, more so the taste of it versus the sensation of the black pepper. So it's not a heavy spice, just more of the flavor of black pepper, like it's been seasoned, you know, with a little dab of that black pepper. Um, Actually pick up a light light orange peel citrus really light in the background um, and again that woodsy kind of more of a cedar profile uh, in there it'd help if I kept the cigar in the frame so this is fun you guys are witnessing uh, first time here and just playing around with the iPad now as a camera alternative and now I can see that it looks like I'm kind of dark so let me try tapping whoa we'll see if that does anything um, as you know, we you know when you're playing around with any kind of like iPhone or Apple products, you know, the camera, it just changes where the light hits and all that. So again, now my sky is completely washed out and uh, I think it seemed to be a little more flattering on the color. Um, it was a little darker before. So again, getting um, your guys' tips and I had some people comment on, you know, lifting things up. So it was a little bit higher because I think on the iPhone video that I did, I was like looking down and I noticed that also after the fact, of course. But um, yeah, again, the whole purpose of me playing around with different platforms as far as how to film and edit is just the time behind um, each one and like which can deliver a faster um, end result, which is posting more reviews for you guys. Cause that's ultimately the goal is I wanna get through 
you know, a lot of different reviews. And sometimes I fall a little bit behind when it comes to setting up the larger camera, um, uploading then that um, those clips onto uh, the computer and then going through and trying to edit everything. Sometimes it just takes a little bit longer to get that end result um, versus I'm hoping doing these once in a while. And I know that the quality is not the same, the angles of the camera, um, just the overall end result may not be as nice as when I sit in uh, more of a sterile environment with the larger camera. However, um, again, end result being to just kind of try to turn these videos around a little bit faster and get some more um, videos up on YouTube. So we're gonna play around with this idea for a little bit. And again, I welcome your feedback. Please, um, you know, give me your thoughts on it. If you're like, no, I just refuse to watch you on this platform. Like, don't use those again. Um, I'll take that into consideration because I definitely don't want you guys to like not want to watch the videos because the audio's awkward or the filming itself is weird. Um, I just want to try to, again, produce a little bit more on the video output. And so this is my, you know, my thoughts on this. I'm just rambling as I smoke this lovely Sunday gravy with you guys. So these should be available for you to find. And again, at the price point of $4.99 on this one, I mean, it's great. <laughs> it's a really, it, it's tasty. You know, anything, I say this a million times, really anything that AJ's touching, it, it's good. You know, this might not be um, top notch smoking like a $20 cigar kind of a thing, but for five bucks, this seems kind of like a no-brainer. I like the flavor profile. I've smoked about four of these in total because I did receive them in a five pack. Um, so yeah, I have one more left in my humidor, but all three prior to this fourth one that I'm smoking have been very pleasant. They've smoked well. Flavor profile is real strong. They're solid. Um, and it's, I love the name. It's very appropriate as to me, like a nice afternoon, you know, fire up the grill, have friends over and do some sort of like Sunday celebration. I think Sundays are a great day to get together with friends and family. And um, at the price point that these offer, you can definitely pick up a box or so and share these with friends and family at, you know, no, no problem whatsoever, especially if you have those people that I have them in every circle they exist, they will gladly take a cigar from you and they will smoke like this much of it. And then you'll see it sitting in an ashtray and it just drives me nuts. Cause it's like, um, you know, cigar sin number one, like don't not finish your cigar, <laughs> especially when somebody gives it to you, smoke it. Um, but again, at this price point, it's not gonna be like devastating. Um, I have had that happen with a Padron and it like, oh, it just, it, it made me cry. Like I was so sad, but um, not the case with this one. Again, nice price point on it, good well-rounded flavor. And um, you guys know the drill. So I'm gonna smoke it down a little bit more and I will check back in uh, right around, I don't know, halfway point or so to see what other flavors come into play. All right, guys, coming back in, oh, coming back in here, about halfway through, maybe a little bit more. I was actually, while I've been smoking this, I was rewatching the first uh, part of this video that I shot, and I tried to lift up the the iPad. I have it attached to a Magic Keyboard, so it's kind of like set it, set up as a laptop. And so I noticed that um, I had it. Okay, so I don't have a fancy iPod stand. I am using um, multiple cigar boxes. So if you're somebody who films things at home and you're looking for something to do with those extra empty cigar boxes, hey, they double as a camera stand <laughs> if you have it like a laptop. Um, so that's what I'm doing. So I added one and um, because I thought that when I was shooting it the first time that it was at a better angle, but it seemed like I was still shooting me from like underneath, which is flattering to nobody. I don't care who you are. Um, your face does not look good being shot from underneath. It just doesn't. So I'm going to go ahead and just roll with it because I already did that. And you guys could poke fun at me and see all the funky um, angles of my face. But um, hey, we're here to smoke a cigar. So getting back to that, the flavors right now are nice. They are um, anise, little bits of dark cherry kind of popped in. It was interesting because I initially I was getting the orange peel citrus and then it transitioned into um, almost immediately starting the second third, I picked up the, uh, the anise and then a little bit of the dark cherry. So that was kind of cool because I didn't 
really noticed that before. So definitely something that I picked up on now that I'm just sitting here kind of really focusing on um, all of these flavor notes. There's a subtle dark chocolate in the background. It's not very noticeable unless you're really searching for it. So again, little hint of a dark chocolate, dark cherry anise, and then it still has, has that nice woodsy, um, more so cedar is the the where the wood that I'm kind of leaning towards as far as the woodsy profile um, that's mixed into it as well. So it's still it's balanced and yet there's the complexity and again for the price point of basically five bucks, um, really nice. I'm impressed. It's smoking well. You can see that um, there was a couple spots that you know it's not super razor sharp even but the ash itself like the color of the ash is a beautiful white color um, it's not that dark kind of a scattered looking ash it looks like a nice solid it actually fell off in a nice solid chunk but again the burn line is a little little wavery other than that it's nice um, I haven't had to touch it up, haven't had to relight it, even uh, being outside in the wind. There's always, um, there's somebody that always comments that they want me to make videos in the wind trying to light my cigar. So um, I always thought it was an odd request, but perhaps that person lives um, like I do in a wind tunnel and they just want to see how, <laughs> like the best technique to light in the wind. Um, definitely with the torch. Um, there's, I think that the best way if you're sitting inside or you're sitting in a controlled area where you can choose you know any way to light your cigar i would definitely prefer a soft flame it's a beautiful technique to lighting your cigar if you have the time a cedar spill even a long um, cigar match once you kind of let the um you know the the initial lighting of the match um you let that what is it called i can't think of the name of it the head of the of the match it has that the chemical on it so once you let it burn a little bit and it gets onto the wood itself it's a beautiful way if you have the time to just sit and use that soft flame to light up your cigar but that being said for the sake of time for the sake of um you know if you're not if you're newer to lighting up your cigar or if you happen to be um, outside where you pick up random bursts of wind a torch lighter i like a single torch double torch the triple torch is a little bit too much unless you're smoking a super large like a 60 ring gauge plus um, which I try not to do often. It's not my go-to ring gauge, as you guys probably know. Um, so, you know, that's where I feel like using a single or a double flame torch is ideal. But again, if you have the time and you are sitting inside or you are sitting somewhere where the wind is not an issue, then um, a soft flame is beautiful. And especially if you could do it with a cedar spill or again, a match, you could even do just a soft flame lighter. Um, I have a few of those, but again, it takes longer. Um, you have to really focus on what you're doing versus the torch, it's just, it's a faster process. You can still achieve the same consistency with you know toasting the foot. It's just nice if you have the soft flame. So again, I'm kind of taking this, um, smoking the cigar as all, also some of the comments that I've read through, some of the questions that I may or may not always address. I do read through them. And so um, randomly they pop into my head and that was one that I had seen on a, a, a review that I posted um, not too far back about um, lighting and why do I use a torch and why you know I should be using a soft flame. And yes, I agree. However, I just, for the sake of, again, more so of time, I tend to lean towards the torches. Plus I have a ton of torches. That's just you know what I have on hand most of the time. Um, good amount of smoke output on this guy too. Again, if I wasn't sitting in the wind, you'd probably see more of a stagnant type of cloud of smoke from this one. But being that I'm outdoors, there's a nice little breeze going through. Um, the smoke itself is thick, um, but it's moving along uh, just beautifully. But it is a thick, aromatic, very welcoming type of a smoke. And um, yeah, so I will smoke this down and probably use my fun little tool here towards the very end to make sure that I cover any new flavors that come in to the picture, but um, I'll be back shortly. All right, so coming back in on the diesel Sunday gravy, final third here. The flavors basically took the anise and kind of ramped it up a little bit. So really a strong presence of the anise is what I'm getting on the initial puff. And then as it kind of settles for a second, uh, hints of a nuttiness in the background, not real strong. So anise, a little bit of nuttiness, and then there's still that underlying dark chocolate 
um, that's there and the cedar has been present the entire time. However, now instead of that dark cherry that was present in the right around the halfway kind of second, third portion of the cigar, uh, I'm, again, I'm getting more of that citrus flavor that was there on the first third. So really good. And one thing I will point out is I set this thing down for um, a couple minutes because I was answering some emails and things like that. And literally I was like, oh, I'm gonna have to relight it because I took too long and it was still going. And um, I did that a couple times actually, because after I did the first time on accident, I wanted to kind of test it out and see if really, if that is a, a thing that would happen, uh, you know, more than just once and literally um, I timed it and I had it sitting for three and a half minutes by itself and still picked it up and no problem. It was beautiful. So again, for five bucks, it's almost like, it's not a waste to do a review of it because for five bucks, it's like, there's very little risk in purchasing a cigar for $5 uh, and just kind of trying it out yourself to see if you like it or not. But really, um, it's great for that price point. It is fabulous, really enjoyed it. And again, something that you could easily pick up a box, share it with friends, have a nice, you know, follow suit to the name and have a nice little Sunday, you know, feast, finish it with the cigars, hang out uh, with your friends, family, whatever your your uh, agenda allows. And really just, um, again, taking advantage of that price point is beautiful. And again, anything that's coming out of AJ's factory, especially when he does these cool collaborations with um, people that are very passionate about what they're doing, like Justin Andrews, you're gonna be, very happy with the results. I think there's a lot of you that have smoked the different diesel cigars that are offered um, and like myself uh, are a huge fan. So this is just something that they have added to their portfolio. Again, it will become a full-time line. There might be some slight variations according to their press release as far as um, they might be doing you know, seasonal releases of different variations of it. But either way, if they stick to that, roughly that price point, it's a steal of a cigar, made well, smokes great, like the flavors a lot. And um, yeah, so if you're not sure where you can find this, you can definitely visit uh, their website. You can, you know, bug Justin on social media. I'm sure he'll love that I just told you to do that, but <laughs> he's somebody that is great about answering questions and things like that. So you can follow, you know, Diesel Cigars on Instagram and check out where you can locate this little baby in a local brick and mortar near you. And then as always, uh, I thank you so much for tuning in. And again, uh, I welcome your feedback on the video today. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Be sure you subscribe to the channel. I appreciate all of you who do so. And then again, I'd love to hear the feedback as far as, um, you know, the takeaway from today's video on the overall quality as far as using the iPad versus using the larger camera that I normally do. And um, I'll be sure to read through your comments. So thanks so much guys for tuning in. Have a great rest of your day and cheers.